Hey guys, uh, back, video five of my 31 days of Halloween movie marathon. Uh, this is the movies we are gonna be closing out the Halloween season with. Uh, only a few more days, today's Monday, Wednesday is it, man, Halloween. Bittersweet, like I said in the last video, I love this time of year, the cooler weather, uh, the horror movies are on every station, you know, scary stuff everywhere, the commercials, Seeing all the kids running around in costumes on TV, and then November 1st is Thursday, and then it's Christmas season. You know, Christmas starts super damn early. Uh, <laughs> I try to start Chris uh, Halloween season at the end of August, since, you know, Christmas gets to the beginning of November. Um, Dino Dracula. I don't know if you've heard of Dinosaur Dracula. Uh, he has a movie, or not a movie countdown, but he has a Halloween countdown he does every year. Starts at the end of August. That's the start of my Halloween season, is when he starts his, his countdown. Look him up, Dinosaur Dracula on YouTube. Watch his videos. <laughs> he's funny. He does videos as himself, um, showing off Halloween stuff he's found, and then uh, are talking anything Halloween. And then he also has a character called Mad Matt, who looks like a Dracula zombie guy. <laughs> that um, he, uh, yeah, he does reviews and stuff too. So. Uh, funny videos. I, I really say check them out. Also, uh, check out uh, Dr. Wolfula. If you've heard of him, he kind of is like a, like a horror host almost. Uh, and he does reviews for movies, that sort of thing. Check him out too. Uh, those are my two favorite. Halloween, because he does October. A-A-A-H-tober. <laughs> um, for To get me in the Halloween spirit, those two guys really, really help out. So, giving them a shout out. But uh, yeah, let's finish off this week, uh, this this month, this season, uh, with the last uh, last movies we're gonna be watching this uh, this Halloween season. Sad, but first we're kicking it off tonight, Monday night, with Night of the Demons. Fantastic Halloween movie. the The vibe of this movie, just from the beginning, there's like a animated beginning with bats and ghosts and haunted houses and <laughs> it just gets you in that halloween mood you know uh so being halloween's in a couple days this really helps set, set off that mood for the week um there's the uh new cover and here's the original cover with angela i don't know if you've ever seen this there's been a remake too remake's pretty good not gonna lie uh shannon elizabeth plays as angela you know shannon elizabeth from the best uh the uh, american pie movies um she plays Angela, which is the main character who gets turned into a demon. Uh, it's pretty good. I, I like it, but the original is where it's at. Uh, the original is quintessential 80s Halloween goodness. Check it out. Tuesday, we're going to do a double feature. A uh, couple videos ago, I think it was my second video, I talked about how there's some movies I have to watch every year because of the the, the feeling you get from them. The, the the aura, the ambiance, the feel of Halloween is just thick in these movies. Every year I have to watch these. Actually, Night of the Demons was one of them. I watch that every year because it gets me in that Halloween mood. This movie just is soaking that feel of, um, of the season. I don't know what it is. It's like it makes you feel like it's fall, Halloween, all that good stuff. Gotta watch this every year. Also, it's one of my favorite movie monsters ever. I think it is my favorite movie monster. And I, it jumps between this and The Predator. But this movie is amazing. Pumpkinhead. Funny title. Fantastic movie. Stars Lance Henriksen. Uh, what's his name? Um, Bud Flower, I think his name is. Uh, who's in a lot of John Carpenter movies. Um... Directed by the man himself, Stan Winston. Fantastic. If you don't know who Stan Winston is, you know his work. Because his work is Hollywood. Anything monster-wise back in the 80s and 90s, Stan Winston's probably had his hand in. The Terminator, The Predator, The Alien, um, Pumpkinhead, uh, The Monsters from Monster Squad, all made by Stan Winston. The Dinosaurs in Jurassic Park all made by Stan Winston. This was his first directorial debut. But this movie, the ambiance, the way, the, the creepiness of it, the backwoods story is just perfect for Halloween. So Pumpkinhead, I gotta watch this every year. 
Now, uh, the second movie we're going to watch on uh, Tuesday night is Pumpkinhead 2. I don't give this one as much love as, as I should. It's a really good movie. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people say it sucks compared to the original. It's hard because the original is so good. Anything's going to suck next to it. Uh, but it's still really good. still has that cool feeling, cool uh, fall feeling, Halloween feeling to it. Um, I felt like, man, I need to watch this. I haven't watched it in a while. Might as well watch it with the first one. So we're going to watch this tonight too, Pumpkinhead 2. Cool shot of Pumpkinhead there. A lot of uh, horror greats are in this too. You'll see a lot of fame, uh, recognizable faces. Andrew Robinson, um, Kane Hodder, uh, R.A. Mihailov, uh, Linnea Quigley, who's actually in Night of the Demons from yesterday, uh, or from tonight that we're going to be watching. Um, so you'll see a lot of horror faces in this. So there you go, Pumpkinhead 1 and 2 on Tuesday night. Um, and here it is, folks. Halloween, Wednesday night, the last night of the of the Halloween movie marathon. <coughs> Every year I watch the same three movies. Been doing it for the last probably four years now. Maybe not four years, three years. Let's say three years. Because um, when did this one come out? I don't know. Anyway, uh, last three years um, I've watched the same three movies, Halloween night. And I don't think it's going to change. They're, they're, these are going to probably stay the three movies I watch on Halloween night. So here it is. Halloween night. We are going to start off the night with Tales of Halloween. Has Halloween in the title. <laughs> what can you expect? Uh, anthology flick. There's uh, 11 short stories in this movie. Uh, all having to do with something to Halloween, Halloween night. And they are all tied up in a little... Uh, Nicely in a, a little ending story there. Um, there's some that are, are really, really good short stories. Some that are eh. But there's still not a bad one in here. They're not... Even if it's not the best one on the, on the, on the movie, it's still really good. Um, great stuff. Eleven Tales of, of Halloween Night. Same night on Halloween. Um, directors are Paul Sollett. Neil Marshall, Mike Mendez, Lucky McKee, Dave Parker, Axel Carolyn, Darren Lynn Bowsman, who did all the Saw movies. So who's who of new horror movie directors all did a short on this. So very, very good. Sets up the night. I always started off uh, Halloween night as kids start trick-or-treating. Gets me in that right feeling. Then after that end, I pop in Trick-or-Treat. Another great Halloween movie uh, directed by Mike Doherty uh, he also made Krampus which is a great Christmas horror movie um, this and he's directing the new Godzilla movie Godzilla King of Monsters that comes out next year he's directing that so he's hitting the big time um, another anthology movie I think there's like four or five stories in this one all going around Halloween night having to do with the mythology of Halloween um, and then just keeps the night going with that Halloween feel. So I'm probably getting rid of this copy because Scream Factory is coming out with a special collector's edition. And whenever Scream Factory comes out with a movie, it's way better than <laughs> the one that came out before it because you got new special features, a new uh, remastered print, all that good stuff. So I'll be getting that one here soon. Um, so uh, I'll be uh, replacing this one. And then to end the night, Halloween night, the kids are already starting to slow down. Not as many are coming to the door. Um, it's around 8, 9 o'clock at night. I'm starting to, you know, slow down for the rest of the night. Gotta watch John Carpenter's Halloween. Just got it in 4K. Came out um, earlier last month at the end of September. What can you say about Halloween? It's the quintessential Halloween movie. <laughs> Gotta watch this every Halloween. Gotta finish it off with this movie. This movie ends, we go to bed. Um, unless it's a weekend, then we stay up a little longer. But this is my favorite horror movie of all time. I can't say more, uh, you know, more than <laughs> more than that. It's scary. Michael Myers is scary as hell. Um, 
you know, there's not a lot of gore, but it's brutal. You know what I mean? Uh, what's his name? Um, Donald Pleasance, great as Sam Loomis. John Carpenter really hit it out of the park with this movie. Halloween, 40th anniversary. 40 years old, this movie is. Still holds up today and still a classic. All right, there we go. Halloween is over. <laughs> this was the last video. Uh, thank you for watching my five videos for uh, the 31 Days of Halloween Movie Marathon. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a great Halloween season. Uh, let me know how your Halloween went down below. Um, let me know how you watch a lot of the movies. You know, all that stuff. Let me know what I could do better for next year. I'm still learning. I wish I could get more cool graphics and all that stuff in here. Uh, hopefully by next year I'll have all that. <laughs> um, but uh, thanks again. Happy, have a, I hope you had a great Halloween season. Uh, I know this post Monday before Halloween, so you all have a happy Halloween. Hope it's safe. If you have kids, I hope they have fun trick-or-treating. Um, I hope you have fun taking them trick-or-treating. Uh, if you're a big kid and still go trick-or-treating, have fun doing that as well. Um, I don't judge anymore. I wish I could go trick-or-treating again, too. <laughs> uh, this will be the first year we take my daughter out. So uh, we'll take her out for a little bit before, you know, in between these movies. And then um, so she can uh, trick-or-treat for the first time. So I'm excited for that. So happy Halloween, guys, and you have yourself a good one. Night.